Greetings, I am nothing, nobody, a resident of the Phantom Line channel, and you can call me Feelinoid. This time I want to talk strategy, primarily using BBS as a fallback position should the social justice warriors take back the internet, but th this is a little more generic in that the, the same strategy can be used for using any alternative unpopular social media platform as a fallback position should the popular dominant social media platform not allow your message. Something I noticed is basically when a certain group is being held back, one of the things that they can't do is get their message out because the dominant media won't allow it. There are always the smaller pocket medias that will allow it, but the dominant media is like, no, we don't want to have that here. That's too controversial. That's mean or, or that's stupid. And we just don't agree with that. Whatever, whatever it is, all right, they won't allow that message on their platform. So you have to take it to a different platform. And that platform is small and you don't get any messages out from there. So, how do you get around this? How to deal with this? First, why BBSs? Well, you know, because when you have a BBS, it's yours. So ultimately, there is no chance of somebody taking a BBS away from you and, and saying, well, you can't have your message here on your own BBS. <laughs> it, it, you know, as long as you have freedom of speech, you, know, you can say what you want on a platform that you control, basically. So the only censorship risk is when you're trying to take your message to a platform you don't control, such as, you know, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, the big media platforms. Now, you know, should the social justice warriors take back the internet in a way that basically even your own website, you can't express your message, well, you can still take it to a BBS. It doesn't have to be on the internet. And with Telenet, it's just not really the web. It, I have a, some sneaking suspicion that should the social justice warriors take back the net, they're really going to be focused on censoring the web and not really pay any attention to other protocols. So that that would make things work. Also, should they expand out to actually try to censor Telenet, which is really difficult to do, you can just drop your BBS to uh, dial up. All right. But that's, you know, that's my perspective. All right. Your BBS remains entirely in your control. Should, should you be in a nation or a place that allows your message to be communicated, then, uh, then is all you have to do is control your platform. And in theory, a BBS, you can control the platform, but alternatively, you could just take it to another social media platform that still allows your message, you know, just a smaller one that doesn't have as many eyeballs. Retaining a foothold on the internet or, you know, retaining a foothold in the dominant media platform where the eyeballs really are. Basically, as a rule, when your message is being restricted, it's never totally censored. They want to make like you're, you're the bad guy, that you're saying nasty things or bad things. So they'll have certain key phrases such as, you know, you can't say, um, oh, let's say, um, all lives matter. Because somehow that's shutting down the message of Black Lives Matter as if it isn't the other way around. <laughs> but, you know, 
if you can dan if you can have somebody dance around those rules and still get the message out without the triggers then you can retain a foothold on the internet by using certain you know key people such as Milo Yiannopoulos who is like not a very good spokesperson but yeah that's another story he still has his foothold and he can still get the eyeballs and he does a really good job getting the eyeballs and then Monday Matt also not a very good spokesperson and other reasons but again he gets the eyeballs you get the idea uh, somebody who gets the eyeballs. And I'm pretty good at not getting banned, but I don't get the eyeballs. But you get the idea. The whole thing of there needs to be someone who can retain a foothold on the internet, even if he has to restrain the message back a bit, just just to get it out. But it still gets out, as long as there's another source giving the full message that it, that is not restrained. You know, having somebody give a, um, a a Cliff Notes version that is kind of still in the, you know, in the enemy territory. Keeping the real discussion on a specialized VBS. Well, basically, you, know, you need to be able to discuss the topics and the matters that you're not going to be able to discuss on the popular media, the, whatever the the main popular media is. Now, say, let's use Facebook as an example, because Facebook is really good at censoring everything. All right. You post it on the BBS, and then you copy it and paste it back to a Facebook group, all right, so that it's in both locations. So it's there for the eyeballs, and then it's on the BBS with the people that are, you know, that, um, you know, that came to the BBS can see it. Should something happen on Facebook, you still have the smaller group, you know, the, the, the BBS, and you can still have the conversation, but yeah, it's, it's always better to have the bigger eyeballs, to have the bigger place, using the two locations to, to bounce things back and forth is, is, um, is an ideal situation. Uh, if if I could, I'd make a little app on a BBS, you know, and then a Facebook app, and then when something is posted in the BBS, it shows up on Facebook. But I haven't done that yet, so you know, yeah. Somebody else could do it in the future. I mean, th these these BBS programs, a lot of them are have the, are open source, and you should be able to be to, to mod it to some degree. Promote the BBS in all internet contact. Well, basically just that. When you are, you know, interacting, you know, when you're doing the Cliff Notes version of the message on the internet, should it be, you know, and try to get like Milo Yiannopoulos and, and Monday Matt and other media personalities that, that want to help you get them to direct people to the BBS because that's where the real conversation is happening. And final thoughts. Basically, uh, these, these sort of strategies, while I'm pre presenting this in the context of using BBSs, uh, of course they can be used in other ways, in other contexts, but basically it's still the same concept using a you know, using a, a safe fallback position one that allows you to communicate a, as a place to well communicate and using the uh, popular media outlet to direct traffic over to get the cliff note version of your message out the one that the one that the uh, popular media lets you speak and then you get the rest of the message on your on your own closed knit group, and you know, there it is. Right? It's it's a thing. You know, if your message is going to be censored on the popular media, 
then have a place where it's not censored and then give a censored version in popular media directing people to the uncensored version. 